Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Dr. Tapati's presentation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss about allostatic inhibition and allostatic regulation. Allo means other. Few enzymes contains additional sites other than active site. Those additional sites are known as allosteric sites and such enzymes are known as allosteric enzymes. So enzymes that have allosteric sites and are regulated by allosteric mechanism are referred to as allosteric enzyme. Allosteric enzymes have two receptor sites, active site and allosteric site. Substrate binds at active site and allosteric modulator or effector binds at the allosteric site and regulate the enzyme activity. There are two types of allosteric effectors, positive allosteric effector or activator and negative allosteric effector or inhibitor. The enzyme activity is increased when activator binds at the allosteric site known as activator site, whereas inhibitor inhibits the enzyme activity and binds at the allosteric site known as inhibitor site. The non-covalent reversible binding of the effector molecule at the allosteric site brings about a conformational change in the active site of the enzyme leading to the inhibition or activation of the catalytic activity. In biological system, regulation of enzyme activities occurs at different stages in one or more of the ways to achieve cellular economy. Those are allosteric regulation, activation of latent enzymes, compartmentation of metabolic pathways, control of enzyme synthesis, enzyme degradation, isoenzyme. In this video, we are going to discuss about the allosteric regulation. Allosteric regulation refers to the process for modulating the activity of a protein by the binding of a ligand or effector to a site known as allosteric site, which is topologically distinct from the active site. Allosteric regulation of proteins is central to nearly all aspects of cellular function. The modulation of protein activity is accomplished by the reversible alteration of the protein conformation that accompanies effector binding. On the basis of action of the modulator, allosteric regulation is of two types, activation and inhibition. Allosteric inhibition is the third type of enzyme inhibition process. Already I have discussed about reversible and irreversible enzyme inhibition processes in separate videos. You can check those videos. In a today in this video, I am going to discuss about the allosteric inhibition along with allosteric activation. When an activator binds at allosteric site, configuration of the catalytic site of the enzyme is changed. This changed conformation is now more suitable for substrate binding. So enzyme activation occurs and enzyme activity is increased. Whereas when an inhibitor binds to the allosteric site, the configuration of the catalytic site of the enzyme is distorted, which is not suitable for substrate binding. So inhibition occurs. Most of the allosteric enzymes are oligomeric in nature. The subunits are identical or different. They exist in two conformational states, R or relaxed state and T or tail state. T and R states are in equilibrium. Allosteric inhibitors favor T state, whereas activators and substrates favor R state. The substrate cannot bind with the T form, T form of the enzyme. So we can say that in the presence of the substrate or positive modulator or activator, it is in a catalytically more active conformation, which is known as relaxed state or R state. In the presence of negative modulator or inhibitor, the enzyme is in less active conformation, which is known as tort state or T state. The concentration of the enzyme molecule in the R state increases as more substrate is added. Therefore, the binding of the substrate to the allosteric enzyme is said to be cooperative. And this cooperativity occurs when an enzyme contains multiple binding sites. So, you can say that cooperativity describes the changes that occur 
when a binding site of one of these structures is activated or deactivated affecting the other binding sites in the same molecule there are two models through which we can explain mechanism of kinetic behavior of allosteric enzyme or cooperativity those are concentrated or symmetry model and sequential or induced feed model let's discuss about concerted or symmetry mechanism or mwc mechanism allostery is a property of biological macromolecules featuring cooperative ligand binding and regulation of ligand affinity by effectors the definition was introduced by monod and jacob in 1963 and formally developed as the concerted model by monod women and sandias in 1965 concerted mechanisms assume that the enzyme subunits are connected in such a way that a conformational change in one subunit is necessarily conferred to all other subunits thus all subunits must exist in the same conformation and that the ligands bias their equilibrium positive cooperativity is achieved because substrate binding increases the population of r state which increases the sites available to substrate mwc model does not explain negative cooperativity only it explains positive cooperativity sequential mechanism was originally formulated by pauling in 1935 which was developed further by kushland nimethy and filmer in 1966 sequential mechanisms hypothesize that ligation of one site causes the liganded subunit to change its tertiary structure so called ligand induced fit and consequently its interactions with neighboring subunits this model can explain both positive and negative cooperativity the crucial differences between these two models are the concerted model imposes functional and structural symmetry all subunits of the oligomer share the same structure or state whereas the sequential model postulates asymmetry in the partially ligand derivatives and the concerted model postulates conformational equilibrium and population selection by the ligand whereas the sequential model forbids this activity of an enzyme showing cooperative behavior can be graphed against the concentration of the substrate this graph shows a rapid increase in speed a sigmoidal curve is obtained instead of michaelis menten curve that is rectangular hyperbola so in case of allosteric enzymes sigmoidal curve is observed when an inhibitor binds to the allosteric site the configuration of the catalytic site of the enzyme is changed so that substrate cannot bind properly therefore km is increased whereas vmax is reduced in case of allosteric inhibition there are certain enzymes which have two allosteric sites activator site as well as inhibitor site one example is phosphofructokinase which converts fructose 6 phosphate to fructose 16 bisphosphate in glycolysis pathway it is a quaternary dipole protein with one catalytic site and two allosteric sites like activator site and inhibitor site in this case atp and citrate are inhibitors of this enzyme therefore when these compounds bind with this uh, pfk enzyme at the inhibitor site conformation of the enzyme is changed so the active site is distorted therefore substrate can't bind with this active site so enzyme inhibition occurs whereas in this case amp is the activator of this enzyme therefore when amp binds with pfk in activator site conformation of the enzyme is changed which is suitable for the substrate binding therefore activation occurs due to the presence of amp so in this case atp and citrate are inhibitors of pfk 
whereas AMP is the activator of PFK or phosphofructokinase enzyme. This is the graph of initial velocity of phosphofructokinase and the substrate concentration. Let's see effects of activator and inhibitor on the enzyme activity of phosphofructokinase. Already I have shown that AMP is a positive allosterone modulator, therefore it causes decreased Km value, whereas ATP is a negative allosterone modulator, therefore it causes increased Km value. So we can say that activator decreases Km value, whereas inhibitor increases Km value. Other than phosphofructokinase, there are other examples of allosteric enzymes containing both activator and inhibitor site. Isocitrate dehydrogenase enzyme is um, activated by ADP, whereas inhibited by ATP in TCA cycle. Glycogen phosphorylase enzyme of uh, glycogenolysis pathway activated by AMP but inhibited by ATP. Fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase of gluconeogenesis pathway activated by both ATP and citrate and it is inhibited by AMP. Acetyl coa carboxylase of lipogenesis pathway citrate is activate, uh, activator and long chain acyl coa molecule such as palmitoyl coa is inhibitor of this enzyme. Let's know about homotropic and heterotopic effectors. Substrate binds cooperatively because as it shifts the equilibrium to the relaxed state, it opens up more substrate binding sites. Therefore, substrate is called as a positive homotropic effector. The term homotropic effect is used if the substrate influences the substrate binding through allosteric mechanism. Their effect is always positive. Whereas, Effectors which bind to other sites, that means allosteric sites, are called heterotropic effectors. In that case, positive heterotropic effectors are activators. They bind preferably to the relaxed uh, state, whereas negative heterotropic effectors are inhibitors. They bind preferably to the tensed form. Heterotropic effect is used when an allosteric modulator affects the binding of substrate to the enzyme. Allosteric enzymes are divided into two classes. K class of allosteric enzymes and V class of allosteric enzymes. K class of allosteric enzymes are mainly approximately 30% of all allosteric enzymes, whereas less than 1% of enzymes are coming under V class of allosteric enzymes. In case of K class of allosteric enzymes, the effector changes the Km and not the Vmax. Example is, example is phosphofructokinase, whereas in case of V class, the effector alters the Vmax, not the Km. Example is acetyl coa carboxylase. Let's know what is negative feedback regulation or end product inhibition. This is a series of enzyme catalyzed reaction where first substrate is A, B, and C are intermediates, and D is the end product. A to B conversion is carried out by enzyme 1 that is an allosteric enzyme, that means it has active site for binding substrate A and allosteric site for inhibitor D. B to C conversion is catalyzed by enzyme 2 and C to D conversion is catalyzed by enzyme 3. End product of metabolic reaction produced in excess inhibits the first enzyme which is an allosteric enzyme in the sequence. Due to inhibitor binding, conformation of the enzyme is changed and active site structure is distorted. Hence, substrate A cannot Bind. End product controls its own rate of production, consequently prevents buildup of intermediates B and C. This is a specialized type of allosteric inhibition necessary to control metabolic pathways for efficient cellular function. This is a real cellular economy to save the cell from the wasteful expenditure of synthesizing a compound which is already available. So we can define feedback regulation, negative feedback regulation as the process of inhibiting the first step by the final product in a series of enzyme catalyzed reactions of a metabolic pathway. Let's see an example of negative feedback regulation. Carbamine phosphate undergoes a sequence of reactions for synthesis of the end product that is cystitine triphosphate or CTP. 
in this reaction series carbamoyl phosphate is converted to carbamoyl aspartate by the action of aspartate transcarbamoylase which is an allosteric enzyme it has active site as well as inhibitor site in that case when ctp accumulates that means end product accumulates it allosterically inhibits the enzyme aspartate transcarbamoylase by a feedback mechanism therefore end product ctp control its own rate of production consequently prevents build up of intermediates so this is the example of negative feedback regulation let's summarize all the characteristics of allosteric enzymes allosteric enzymes are regulatory enzymes they have active sites and allosteric sites that means activator site and inhibitor site most of the allosteric enzymes are oligomeric in nature the subunits are identical or different they exist in two conformational states r and t and they are in equilibrium do not obey they do not obey michael's mentioned kinetics give sigmoidal curve instead of rectangular hyperbola allosteric enzymes are activated by substrates and positive modulators those are known as activators they may be inhibited by in product of a series of an enzyme catalyzed reaction which is known as feedback inhibition allosteric effectors either homotropic or heterotropic substrate is called as a positive homotropic effector heterotropic effectors either positive or negative positive heterotropic effectors are activators negative heterotropic effectors are inhibitors they can be divided into two classes k class and v class thank you very much for watching this video in order to motivate me kindly like share and subscribe this channel don't forget to press the bell icon to get notifications